Hello everyone, Mohammed here again. And I want to show you some other tools that can be used to record your screen, to provide online lessons. Another one of those tools is named Screencastify. Right from Google, you type in Screencastify. You can go to the website at www.screencastify.com. Once you're on this website, in the top right corner, you can click on Add to Chrome. From here, you'll be sent to the Chrome Web Store and you can click on Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. And we'll just give this a second. As you can see, it's now downloading. And in the top right corner, we now have Screencastify. From here, we click on the Screencastify button and it'll take us to a new page. And this is where we set up our account. We can sign in with Google and make sure you leave this check as it's highly recommended to automatically save the videos to your Google Drive. You can click on sign in with Google, sign in with Google again. I'm using a test account here. So I'll sign in and I'll allow Screencastify to manage files in my Google Drive. Make sure camera and microphone as well as drawing and annotation tools are checked. We'll allow that and then allow again. You'll see another pop up to ask if it can use your microphone and camera. We'll hit allow. And then I'll just ask if you're an educator, student, we'll say we're an educator or other. And now we're all set. Right from this page, there are some videos and tutorials on how to use Screencastify. Just a quick tutorial. If you now click on the Screencastify button, you now have an option to record browser tab, your desktop, or just your webcam only. For these purposes, we'll record using our browser tab. We'll select our microphone. I'll use the default one here and the embedded webcam and my integrated webcam. Now, here's a little quick tip. Screencastify free only allows you to make five minute videos in the free version. Screencastify has allowed schools to use their uh, unlimited version temporarily while the issues are going on. So if you click on upgrade, I'll bring you to this plan. And if you select the unlimited version, click get started. And if you click on redeem coupon, the coupon code is cast underscore COVID. So we'll type that in here, all caps, cast underscore COVID and hit okay. You don't have to type your credit card number or any information. You just click on activate license. And now we have the full version, which allows us to make videos with unlimited lengths. So we'll go back. Let's just say we'll pull up a article from National Geographic. Or if we want to pull up presentation from slides. We can come here again, top right corner, click on this. And as you can see, it now says Screencastify Unlimited. It has my microphone and embedded webcam. And let's just click record. Now countdown. And now uh, it is recording my webcam as well as my screen. And I can uh, save this straight to my Google Drive. There are some additional tools in the bottom right corner. So the reason I like Screencastify is that I can now use annotation tools. So if you click on the little pen, you can now write. I know it's a little awkward without a mouse. I'm using the trackpad. I can erase. And if I click on this, I can pause the recording, pull up some additional information, and then start the recording again. So I'll click on pause recording and I'm going to end it here for this tutorial. Just know there are many other tools that can be used with Screencastify. We'll do end recording and a new tab will open up. And the first time you visit this page, they'll ask you if you wanna do a tour and you can uh, look at some of the different features that are built into Screencastify. For this example, we'll hit skip tour. 
Screencastify has a built-in uh, clipping tool. So if you want to clip the beginning or end of your article, you can do that. If you want to download it, export it, any of these additional features. One of the main things that I like Screencastify is that I can share it directly to my uh, classroom. So if you click on share to classroom, it'll automatically open up your classroom. You select the class. So I just created a temporary class, tech class, and I can, you know, let's just say I want to make an announcement. And I click on go. And right from here, it pulls up that same menu that you get in Google Classroom. So I'll say, please watch this video. I can click post. And it'll automatically be posted to my Google Classroom. And that'll pull that up. And here it is. Same thing with assignments and all the other tools in there. You can also click the top if you want to rename this. And it'll always be saved in your Google Drive. So if we go to drive.google.com, you'll see now there is a folder called Screencastify. And here are where your recordings are saved. Just remember, there are a number of tools. These are just two of the tools that I'm showing you that can be used to record your screen. There's options such as Loom or uh, Screen-O-Matic. Feel free to use these options. These Screencastify and Google Meet are two options that are that are free, and you'll able to record. You'll be able to record your lessons, put them right into your Google Drive. And once you have files inside of your Google Drive, you can then link them right into your Google Classroom. Thank you very much.